Yo, what is going on, T Squad? It is your boy T here, man. We are back with a brand new reaction video, man. We have already reacted to Hong Kong first a la Filipinas. We watched that yesterday. You guys didn't seem to enjoy that video. But I said in yesterday's video, if you guys enjoyed that, that I was going to continue to react to ABL. Um, I'm also going to be very careful because somebody mentioned that ABL is under ABS, ABS CBN. So I'm just going to be a little bit careful, man. Um, I've got my eye on my, all my emails and stuff, so I'm making sure that I, you know, nothing's gone wrong so far. So I'm, I'm praying, man. I'm hoping that I can continue reacting to this for you guys because you guys seem to enjoy it. Now, a lot of you guys said that the PBA is better than the ABL, competition-wise, and I was like, okay, that makes sense. But for more like, you know, entertainment factor, more like style of players, I see this. You know that being the ABL and the reason why you guys said that um, the ABL was more exciting to watch is because of the amount of imports that they can have PBA I think they can only have one import whereas the ABL I can think they think somebody said two or three but I was also reading another comment that like PBA is more like depth bent like depth depth of the bench sorry where like a PBA team can legit go 10 players deep and still be you know competing at a competitive level whereas an ABL maybe can go like six maybe maybe seven but like you know bring them like the deep bench and like the you know like six seven eight nine tenth man bring them into the game and like it won't be as competitive it's kind of like you know just get your scrap time type of thing so overall I enjoy the ABL because it's just you know, it's new to me I'm so used to watching PBA I'm so used to knowing everybody in the PBA so finally watching another basketball league where it's you know it's kind of new to me is very exciting and I'm, thank you guys for actually understanding that you know not like getting down my throat for not knowing players and shit like that because I remember back in the day when I would react to like PBA I don't know somebody but people would be on my ass like but how do you not know who this is like I'm new like what the fuck you mean how do I not know who that is shit that's like you coming to New Zealand watching our like our league and like you're like who's that i'm just looking at you like how do you not know who that is you know what i mean but i'm, I'm just getting sidetracked but we're going to be reacting to singapore slingers versus mono vampires um i didn't realize it was actually playoff time <laughs> for the abl so that's why the games may have seen a little bit lit you say that i watched but either way i hope you guys are excited for this video t squad let's get into it bro i need a new camera man my shit be going in and out of focus like crazy that's ridiculous man so if i'm going in and out of focus like i'm getting real blurry i'm sorry just I, i'm sorry bam 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 welcome to the ocbc arena in singapore with the slingers we're trying to extend their series to a deciding game three would this be the last game we would see that dude with the afro looks like josh childress childress he's playing the nba plays overseas now Kinda looks like him. Quite a performance from Mono Vampire Basketball Ooh. Club, particularly Ooh. from beyond Ooh. the arc. As Paul Zahmer Come on, that's been split it. Start this first period. That's good vision. Because he didn't even see him. He came off and like jumped and threw it backwards. That was nice. Work it, big body. Oh, Chris Charles. Okay, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I said that like I did. Oh, Chris Charles. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. Swishing that jumper. A minute and 30 seconds remaining. Larry Liu showing mm. also mm. Put a hand up. 18 16 into the first quarter. First okay. We head to the second quarter. The who's expected to win the ABL? Like, who's expected to win this whole series? But you can't, bro. You can't give players technical for doing that, man. Like, let us take out. Like, you know, we get a dunk. We hype. Like, ah, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna give us a tick for like hanging on the rim for like an extra two seconds? Like that shit is so whack to me, man. All basketball leagues right now, the ticks that they give and the reasonings behind them it makes no sense whatsoever. It's absolutely stupid to me. Like a player, you know, comes up, body somebody, dunks on them, looks them in the face, like, yeah, like ah, gets excited. Tick. Unsportsman like like I'm supposed to dunk on them, get like so this, this, this is what they want you to do. Get the ball, you know, get, get it out of you, body to body contact, dunk on them. Ah, they don't want you doing that. They want you to go up, dunk it, and just get back on defense. Like, no, that, that shit's whack, man. They need to change that. They need to change. Like, let us take our... We have so much built up aggression and like energy from playing, man. Let us take it out. No problem at all. Retired 31 apiece. Singletary off to Zama. Oh yeah, pull, pull that. Don't even think twice here. Yeah. Yep. 
Did you know that 90% of the shots you take that aren't, you know, thought about twice, go in? Like, if you catch the ball and shoot it straight away, most likely you're gonna make it. I actually don't know if that's real, I just made that up. With six minutes remaining in the third, Mike Singletary, a handoff from Jason Brickman. Dude, he didn't think twice, that's why I win in. Three. But that was quickly countered by the Slingers as Saber and Sander with a quick hand to catch that ball for the offensive rebound. 52 54. This is a close game, man. Larry Liu getting another Ooh. jumper to fall from beyond the arc as the Slingers looking good. 68 51. Quarters, Wait, 58 61, sorry. Oh, wide open. You better make that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then two straight. Bro, this cameraman needs to get these angles right. <laughs> from beyond the arc. AJ Mandani would get a shot of his to fall to stop the run by Mono 70 Vampire. to 76. Down to three minutes, e? three minutes the game, down by three. Again, yeah, my dude is wet in the ball. From beyond the arc, Zamar. Singletary, kaboom! Ooh. Less than two minutes Ow. remaining in the ball game, and Mono Vampire with a five-point lead. Alexander Ow. not so fast, doing everything possible to keep his team within striking distance. Oh shit, bro! But why are these the games always so intense over in the ABL? The, the last the game I watched yesterday, that was a close game. Liu. This game was a close game. The line oh, they won Two at the wait. Seconds remaining in, in the ball game. There's no clock. The okay, it's 16 seconds. Down by two. Get the rebound. Got a rebound. rebound. Got to hustle that. Give it out to him. Give it out to him. Give it out to him. Oh, pull that. Pull. Okay, seven seconds. Down by two. The vampire's obviously the winning team right now. Come on. Come on. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Why would you do that? Why? Bro, why would you? That's such a selfish play right there. You had a teammate open in the corner right next to you, and I think one was in the far corner. Oh, we're gonna go watch that back. This dude, st stupid play, stupid, stupid play. I'm gonna go back to about 320. Now watch this. On that play. Would split from I said 320 just because when I'm editing, I don't know where I am. So look at this. Kemi had a dude. Okay, he had, only had this dude right here, and the dude coming down the middle. We couldn't oh, give that was a heartbreaking finish <sighs> for the Slingers as they That's a selfish play, man. He tried to be the hero of the game. Mono Idiot. Vampire making 14 triples in that ball damn, game. 14 they advance to the ABL semi God, against Chong Son Kung Fu. While the Slingers 29, 17, ooh, 17 balls? God damn. Do you have it T-Squad, man? Like I said, at the end there, why did he do that, man? He tried to do too much. Tried to be the hero of the game. Where he could have made, like, draw the defender in around the bat, like, around the defender, pass to the corner. Get that, dude, that dude has such a high percentage shot. He was set ready for it. He's, like, waiting for it. And then you took it. Lost the game. That dude was waiting. If you would have just passed it, compared to your freaking like spin jump into defender, fucking whatever the fuck that was. I don't know, man. I just feel like he could have made a better play with that. Game could have been different. Could have gone over time. Could have ended up winning the game. But, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Shit happens, you know what I'm saying? But either way, T Squad, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below, man. It really does me a lot. So if you want to see me react to any kind of video, make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below, and I will get around tracking to the majority of most of them when I can. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.